Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Robo94. Uh, by more requests, uh, I'm now doing a little tutorial on how to make hidden walls or secret walls or like secret doors kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna use space to make my basic sector here. And then I'm gonna press uh, insert or I, you can use I as well to place uh, your points so you can make uh, another thing another sector inside it and there you go the line here should become red so it means you've joined sectors as you can see here in 3d mode uh, we now have these two sectors and basically uh, we want to create a uh, secret walkable uh, uh, wall where you can walk through. So what we are going to do uh, firstly I'm gonna have to raise the roof here and then you can either press M or 1 uh, while holding your mouse on the wall here. Now there's gonna be two different effects. When I press M the uh, wall here that appears you can go through. If you turn around you also see the wall so it becomes a two-sided uh, passable wall. However, if I press one ag uh, M again, sorry, and press one instead, you go through. Then you can look through the other side. So you have like a uh, only one side hidden wall. So I'm gonna uh, press one again, and first off, I'm gonna put on some textures here. So I'm gonna press V and give some textures to make a uh, hidden kind of room inside this room let's uh, go for this easy brick texture I'm gonna press tab to copy it and press enter to paste the texture everywhere I'm gonna paste it here as well I'm gonna edit the floor because I think this floor is really ugly uh, so I'm just gonna well this ugly floor as well but uh, whatever we're gonna have a little ceiling uh, um, yeah whatever this this will do I'm just it's not really pretty but whatever uh, it's a really grayish uh, th theme going on here so I'm gonna go back to 3d mode uh, sorry 2d mode and make a couple more uh, walls just so, so I can show you so uh, next to here I'm just gonna make another thingy and I'm also going to make like a hidden door I think over here which should be very easy though uh, I'm gonna give the hidden door a low tag of 20 to make it a basic ceiling door I'm gonna go back into 3D mode. Now here in 3D mode, so I'm gonna um, well, you don't have to raise the roof here, but it's easier. But uh, you can also just point your mouse at the wall. But but I'm gonna press M at this one, and I'm gonna press one at this one. I'm gonna edit the texture, so it will become the same as the wall. Same goes for here. Now you'll have to align it a bit to make it look hidden and stuff uh, it's sometimes a little bit hard to do but yeah this looks okay you could barely see the difference now over here you see the other way, way has changed as well because I've copied it but if you change it manually I think the other side doesn't stay the same um, this is pretty small I'm not even sure if it can fit through here but we'll just try see I'm gonna press O uh, well having my mouse on the wall here and I'm gonna press O as well here the reason is because when I lower the ceiling the walls stay in the same place which so is a little effect also gonna hold shift and use my num keys to reposition the texture so hold shift and press 8 to lower it on the numpad Ta -da. 
should look make your textures look good again. So then I'm gonna lock this and there you go. And now I'm also gonna press shift and have to align the textures to make it hidden like that. And the other side, well it looks you can see it as well. However, making a hidden room is, you know, it depends on how hidden you want to make it. Like if you really don't if you really just barely want people to find it, then just make it look like this so you can see the difference. But if you want to be a bit fair to your players to, you know, maybe give them a little hint to be able to see them and just maybe change the texture brightness with the minus and plus keys you know just make it like a little bit darker than only the people that can see the difference you know they'll look the walls they see oh this is a little place darker maybe it's a secret you know or you can just misalign the texture slightly by doing this or something then a person will see it and he will also notice that it may be a secret uh, room depends how you want to do that same goes for this these kind of hidden doors you can just maybe misalign the texture a little bit or just press shift and uh, and downwards you know just it's a little one small difference maybe people can see it and find your secret a bit easier it's a bit more fair to players but it just depends how you want to do it if you want to make it completely secret or just give a small hint um other than that well i could give the uh door over here a little texture uh sorry not a texture a uh a sound effect but i currently do not know uh what sound effect there is i can press f2 to check out the sound effect but f2 is bound to my team speak so it will unmute and i will probably hear my friends talk but uh anyway uh you can press f2 i believe to uh open a list with sounds and find the sound low tech yeah, I have a door tutorial on how to add sound so it shouldn't be hard just look that one if you want to know more about doors but uh, I think this should be enough for uh, a hidden sector so I could make it like a secret place I'd have to uh, go back into 2d mode so here in three uh, sorry 2d mode uh, you can press T on a hidden sector and give it a low tag of 32767. It's a pretty hard number to, uh, you know, keep in your mind, but eventually you'll probably uh, know it. And press enter and you will have a secret room. Same goes for the other one. I'll just make it 32767. And voila, it's a secret room as well. So now I have these two secret rooms. Maybe I can just add a reward in them. You know, maybe a few rewards. Just gonna go back into 3D mode. Now we're in 3D mode. I'm gonna just make some rewards for the player. You know, how about uh, Devastator and uh, over here some Atomic Health and. Uh, um, where is it? Devastator ammo. Yeah, that should be fine. So I'm just gonna test it out, see if it works. Now, obviously, I expect it to work. Hidden the rooms. Dot map. Let's rock. And well, uh, now I'm using Eduk32 with Polymer and that one adds like extra liking effects as you can see here like even if i shoot you see this li little liking effects the standard duke nukem 3d on steam you know the uh new version the improved version doesn't have these liking effects but it does give away these secret rooms if i put atomic health in it so i can know here and it says a secret place but yeah, it's because Atomic Health, uh, when, when using Eduk32 with Polymer, the lightning effects can give away these things. Because they do not do go through here. So I'll just grab the Atomic Health and now you can see. So it depends on what you put on. Like Doom also has that with uh, Brutal Doom. 
It also gives liking effects and stuff, and it can also sometimes give away your secret. But yeah, as you can see, I have Devastator Ammo, and uh, over here, the hidden door. It has no sound, but yeah, I didn't need a sound for it. So, like, hey, a hidden door, you know, and you can walk through another secret place. And as you can see, I can look through here, but I cannot look through here. So it depends if you use M or if you use 1. And I can just walk through all of them. But it's just very basic. You can make them more hidden, you know, by adding all kinds of different textures. Just like in uh, level 1 of episode 1, you have the windows you can go through. Those are hidden too, with the uh, uh, one key, because you can look outside the window but not inside. I'll just show you that quick. Like over here, see? These ones use the one key as well, because you can walk through them and look through them from the outside. And same goes, well, I'll have to get the jetpack quickly, so I'll just cheat my jetpack. Same goes for these windows, see? They're just perfectly hidden while there's a... Let's see, where, where is it? See? Over here. And he even... The maker even added, like, this thing. But there's no lightning effects here other than the texture palette that changed all red. But, yeah. As you can see, here's the cool lightning effects from Polymer as well, and the stuff. There's a lot of lightning effects, but that's only from Polymer. So yeah, uh, it was just basic uh, showing you in what other levels it's used. So uh, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy my tutorials, find them handy. Feel free to ask me any other things to explain. Uh, like I said, I uh, know a lot of stuff. I can even look up some extra stuff if I don't know them well. But uh, there are some stuff that go beyond, beyond my reach. So yeah, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And I'll see you next time.